episode three to bot or not to bot. Freedom is your right. You're free to choose what you will do. But I and all the good bots hope you choose to be drug free. Omega is right. Drug free is the way to be. Powertron is bad. Just say no, 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 no to drugs. Hand over the power, Omegas. I will not hold back from killing all of these pathetic Earthlings. These Earthlings are our future. <laughs> Was it Gigantatron? 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 You need, you need them to feed your habit. Without them, we've got no TV show. And without that, you've got no money. Habit? What's habit? I don't need Powertron. I just like it. It relaxes me. What? Wrong. You need it. Admit your addiction. Never. If there is no Powertron here, then Sun Sun Howl, and I have no choice. Sun Howl. Oh, Starscream. I get it. But to take all of the energy from the humans' pathetic power plant. Oh no, not the John claude Van Damme. Without the dam, Shadow Valley won't have power. I've got to do something about this. I cannot let you do this, Gigantatron. You must not do this. <laughs> Too late, Omegas. We've made up our minds. Okay, off, they, off they went. Omegas! I can help you stop the bad bots. This is not your battle, human. Trust me, I can help. Maybe you can help. I like the way he looks. Calm down, butterfly. Human, what is your name? My name is Marty. I've had magic powers for three days now, and I already have an arch villain. It couldn't hurt to gain some more. Then meet us at the dam. We will fight the bad bots together. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Hey, everyone's gone. Can I get these balls? I was Mary. I was going to flee. I just can't resist investigating this. Oh, on Earth. Where on Earth did Omega's trailer come from? That is the question. That is always the question. When the bad bots left, I bolted. I'm just an actor, not a crime fighter. I'm trying to take a bite out of my college loans. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, the buff says, say no, 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 no to drugs. That's a lot of no's. Wow, that music is so a beat. Oh no. Tom's cruises? Hey dork! You don't really think you can take on those robot freaks, do you? You're nothing but a wimp. Not now, Billy. I have to get back to the power plant, or we will all be in big trouble. Yeah? Well too bad. You're about to be in a world of pain. I'm gonna pound you, nerd. Ha <laughs> Marty, you need to run. No. Punch! Oh, 
it wasn't really a punch, but yeah, you get the That for some superpower. Butterfly! Can you hear me? Yes, my, but my optics are damaged. You need to go on without me. Get to the power plant and help Omegas. I use my hoverboard to get there quicker. Palms of cruises. Greenbacks. Those bot changers came so close to crushing my store. I don't think I can go on with my business. I don't think I could go on if my business went under again. Oh no. Uh. Can he log in, Cybercat? That is fucking hilarious. Greetings, Marty. If your motor's running as well as mine on this fine day, day still, <clears throat> still and I are out shopping for new servos. When I was. Uh, when was the last time you got your servos replaced? Never. Oh no! That's not good. Your parts have got to be rusted after all this time. <clears throat> I'm an usher at the theater. I'm totally going to quit this job when I make it big in music. <laughs> Wait, Ebert? Raymond? Huh. Roger. I work at the lead theater, but I moonlight as a movie critic. If you're seeing Bear Force One, I gave it two claws up. And then I'm then I mold a guy. Don't ask questions about that though. It's all part of being a bear. Oh. Barely legal? Bear Force One? That's hilarious. I mean, wait, what's going on here? This town will be perfect in, for the commander's plan. Yes, you're correct, 57. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them when they steal their grapes. <laughs> what? What? Shop smart. Shop S smart. Fuck to the S. My girlfriend Mary broke up with me today. Said she was going to leave me for Butterfly. Can you believe that? She's in love with a robot. Oh, you know, vibrating parts and all. In case you haven't heard, Molly Ringwald herself will be appearing at Charles Cheeser. I'm here to catch the story from my underground newspaper. Don't worry, Marty. I haven't forgot about the gruel. I'm still working up a killer award for you. Also, have you heard about the celebrities in Shadow Valley? I'm going to blow that story wide open. Cool. This must be the cheeser place. Gee whiz, I can barely stand. I'm so excited for the robot hockey game. Hockey game? Wow. Hey Marty, what are your thoughts on percolation and Gibbs State's multiplicity? What? Alright, uh, hmm, okay. Go away, dork! I just robbed Greenback blinds. Don't make me do it to you. Damn. There's Rick, Rick Astley's. Hey Gwen. Oh wait, you're not oh, Jen. You're not Jen. Jen is an Ard Wolf. Sorry for the confusion. What? What? Bobby Jet. That's cute. Hey kid, you're with Private Johnson, right? I'm gonna level with you. I'm a world-renowned bounty hunter. That's right. World-renowned. You can go to Japan and they know Bobby Jet. Never heard of you. Probably because I'm too famous. You see this gear I got on? Is 
that a neon fanny pack? That's a utility fanny pack. Jeez. Don't you know anything about bounty hunting? I keep lethal weapons in there. Anyway, I need your help. There's some bounties that are uh, below me. Yeah, they're too easy, and I need your help getting them. Oh yeah, I suppose I can help. These guys are criminals, right? Most of them. The first guy I need you to take out is some chump named Blake. He stole some uh, stuff from Greenback's shop. Blake, I know him. He'll be easy. I know where Blake is. I think he had Blake, time to do your time for your crime. Ha! Is this, is this because I stole it of that stuff I stole from the Beardo shop? He's a dweeb, just like you. Hey, Randy is a hard-working business owner. You're the only dweeb here. Oh, time to fight. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Why is there a dog on the car? Yeah, I just killed that guy. You might think you're tougher than me, but you're not. Every time I fought you, I held back my true power. Don't make me unleash it! Yes, I, uh, you caught the crook. Here's your cut. Now I need you to take out the two student, the two hood students that are scoping out downtown. Show them that Bobby Jet doesn't mess around. All right, I know. I know where they're at. That's Marty. He's the one that Commander told us to watch out for. We should take him out before he foils our plan. I just defeated you with a pencil. You win. You win. Just leave us alone. We promise not to be in any trouble. You actually took them down? No way. You're incredible. But nowhere near as incredible as me. I'm famous, you know. Your next target is a brightly dressed soldier. So a couple of guys go missing and the feds think I did it. Ain't no justice for honest business around around here. Oh man, they got a secret handshake machine in the arcade. Look at that, they've got a stealth janitor. And a moustache rancher. If only I had quarters right now, we'd be all over that car washer cabinet. Man. Get to the chopper! I'm pretending to be in the military. They hope we'll be burning carbs fast. I'd never dump Todd for a robot. Maria has no idea how lucky she has it. One of these days, Todd will realize I'm the one for him. I'd treat him right. I'd never leave his side. Never! We get a house in the wilderness, away from everyone, just me and Todd and our 12 children. That's right, Todd and I are going to have 12 children. I know all their names. Todd Jr., Todd the Third, Todd the Fourth, Todd the Fifth, Todd the Sixth, Todd the Seventh. Ted, Todd the Eighth, I don't know, that's getting crazy now. Todd Sr. and Spud, we'll, we'll be together forever! Oh, you are a creepy one. But you obviously like the sex. Twelve kids, that's, that's, yeah. The Jeff says you need to hang in there and stay tough. You'll soon rock hard just like the Jeff. The Jeff. You guys probably heard it already, but I broke up with Todd today. No way. You guys had, like, such a good thing going. I know, but Butterfly... I don't know, there's just something about him. The bot changer? Like, barf me out. Like, how can you be in love with, like, a robot? I really don't know. I do know that I'm ready for a change from Todd. I don't know how you do it, Samantha. You've been with Billy for six months now. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about Bill anymore. Like, what's your damage? I've just heard stories about him that I don't like. Apparently Billy has been bullying people. No duh. That makes him so cool. 
He's a bad boy. If that's considered cool, then I don't want to be cool. Like, you're just saying this while I'm here. Oh, shit. What do you think of the... LaBeouf the Crime Dog? I thought he was just a fake cartoon. No way! He's absolutely real. Yeah! Sports! Woo! You're the dude with the magic powers, right? Yeah, I guess. So you're like a genie then, right? Can you make some hockey tickets appear? Or do I have to wish for them? Uh, no. My powers don't really work that way. That sucks. I really want to go to that game. What would you say if I could find tickets to the game? I'd say, what are you waiting for? But you can't just find tickets to the game. They've been sold out for months. Just watch. I'll find you some I'll find some tickets for you. Good luck, dude. You'll need it. Come back to me if you find them. Whoa, look at all this. Hey Marty. It's okay that you ruined the <laughs> It's okay that you ruined the bake sale. I just gotta keep all the I got to keep all the unsold cakes. Now I'm having a picnic! A cake picnic! Someone hit one of my cakes with a lawn dart. Aside from that, this picnic is awesome! I want the lawn dart. <laughs> Periwinkle Elite, that's hilarious. When the commander told us to told us you were his nemesis, I thought he was nuts. Now that you took out my buddies, I can see where he is coming from. I guess this is this is the brightly colored dude. Down. Nice. Alright. I'm not messing with you again. Leave me alone and I'll stay out of your hair. After these messages, we'll be right back. Do you like Halloween? Do you like scary games? Then, then go, go check, check out Games from the Crypt, only on Nerdist and Sexy Entertainment. We now return to Saturday Morning RPG. I feel like I'm really doing this town a service with my amazing skills. You got one last target, a big lady named Bertha. Oh shit. She's been uh, terrorizing the town. She's totally a criminal, no doubt. Would you doubt me? I'm Bobby Jet. No one doubts Bobby Jet. Oh, hey. I know this is the best time to tell you this, but I overheard Samantha talking about you, you after the rally. Really? What'd she say? She actually said that she wishes Billy could be more like you. No way! Way. Now, I have absolutely no context for why she said that, but she did say it. Regardless, you should probably be saving the town right now and not talking to me about your crush. Right. Time to save the town. Good talking to you, dude. Marty! Can you help Molly and I out? Sure, what do you need? I'm trying to go to Charles Cheeser for some salmon. Pizza. Salmon pizza. But the paparazzi are outside. They're trying to get a, their picture for the tabloids. My latest film, Barely Legal Attorney at Claws, is going to hit theaters tomorrow. My image is hotter than ever. And my dad is bearing some board of one picture of Molly and I sharing a pizza, and boom, the tabloids will be on fire. Alright guys, let's see if I can find you an alternate entrance to Charles Cheeser. Any idea where I could, should start? You can ask Ted, he's popular at school, and so he probably knows of a VIP entrance if one existed. Alright. Todd, something I can help you with? Yeah, I'm trying to find a VIP entrance to Charles Cheeser. Tell you what, I know a guy who knows a guy. I'll get in touch. I'll get you in touch with my contract. My contact. 
if you do me one small favor. What's that? I need you to get Sarah to stop stalking me. She's really scaring me. Broke her up with someone around town and then come back to me when the coast is clear. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I could do that. That bitch is really, really into him. Hey, Sarah! Todd? Oh, it's just you, Marty. How are you? I'm swell. I just wanted to ask if you, if there was any way you'd go on a date with someone who likes you. Is it Todd? Uh, no. It's not Todd. I know someone who's been itching to go on a date with you. Someone has a crush on me? I'm willing to give him a shot. I don't think they'll ever match up to my, my Todd, though. Don't worry. I think you'll like this person a lot. Great. I have to find someone that will date her. Guess I need to talk to all the eligible bachelors around. Town. Alright, well, let's find a date. Hey! Get up! You're gonna have to go on a date. Bit of an urgent situation I need help with. Is it the giant robots that are destroying the dam? I've got a giant robot phobia, so I won't be much help. No. It's more, of a it's more serious than that. I need to find someone to go on a date with Sarah. Sarah? No way! She's a nutcase! Plus, I'm an established businessman. I can't date a high schooler. Well, that's true. Come on. I really need your help here. Alright, here's the deal. 20 bucks and I'll date her. Oh my god. I run a business here. I can't be doing these things for free. Um, I gotta think about this. Guess you're my only option. Heard you got Sarah a date with someone. Can't believe you pulled it off. So hold up my end of the bargain. Talk to Stanley. He knows all about the VIP access. And Stanley is not him. That's, oh shit. Henry, you've got hockey tickets, right? Of course. I've been looking forward to this game all year. I'm trying to get a hold of those tickets. Is there any chance you'd par with them? Well, I'm trying to get money to expand the memory of my microcomputer from 12K to 48K. And what does that cost? A lot. Maybe I'll get my card collection back from Blake. So for that, I'll sell you the tickets that cost... 50 bucks and they're yours. Awesome. No problem getting your cards back. Mother's whole gang is full of jerks. Blick is right up there with Billy as my least favorite. Yeah, those guys are always picking on me. I'm really glad you have someone like I had to have someone like you looking out for me. Once again, it's no problem. I like to help people out. I keep talking to Henry. I can buy. Talking to Henry, I can buy the tickets for 50 bucks. But if I walk away now, I might not be able to get the tickets from him. I'm more devious, in a more devious manner. I need to think about this. Okay. I'll pay the 50 bucks for tickets. Pleasure doing business with you, Marty. Do the tickets. I love ramen! Know any good places around here? What? How'd you get these? Wait, what's going on here? So, Todd, you've gotten so hairy. I'm not Todd. I'm Randy Greenback, respected business owner. I love your beard, Todd. This is not so worth 20 bucks. This is so not worth 20 bucks. It's just, they're such a good couple. You know, she's a teenager and he's a grown man. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Stanley or something like that. Nice OAN. There he is. Hey, Marty. How's this going to be? No, it's not Stanley. Oh, there it is. Yeah, say, say, do you know I have no secret entrance into Charles Cheeser? Sure, I used to be a roadie for the band. They're the best pizza-themed robot band in the world. Here's a secret entrance in the... There's a secret entrance in the back. Gotta go back to the Share Bears. This way, I believe. Yep. I thought 
talked to Stanley, he said there was an entrance in the back. If anyone asked Stanley, told you that you, if anyone asked, Stanley told you you can use the door. You're a lifesaver, Marty. Oh, nice. Um, here goes strength. Bertha! Oh, that's Bertha. It's time to pay for the, pri the price for being a criminal. Criminal? I'm just shopping. That can't be right. You got a bounty on your head. Bounty? Oh. Commander Hood must have put a bounty on me. I left his forces to pursue my passion. Being a high school lunch lady. Commander Hood issued a bounty? Yes. I was once loyal, but after I got a taste of being the lunch lady, I realized it was my true calling. I was also tired of making the terrible food puns he wrote for me. <laughs> oh, this is heavy. I've either got to fight Bertha or confront Bobby. Jet, let's do this. Let's go confront Bobby. What do you mean she lied to you? She li <laughs> what do you mean I lied to you? She's totally a criminal. She was shopping. There's no way I'm going to do Commander Hood's dirty work. You do know he's my arch nemesis, right? Bounty is about out alliances. If you were in a awesome, if you're an awesome bounty hand like me, you know that. If you won't collect the bounty, I will. Bertha is going down. I'm gonna go warn, warn Bertha. Heads up, Bobby Jet is coming to collect the bounty on you. Thanks for warning. I don't think that chump will be any problem for me. Have you seen my family call Barrison Bird Bird now? For the good of the hood, unless today, Shell Valley, dan Danger Zone, John Claude Van Damme, one mile. Uh, what? We're busy rebuilding the dam right now. Not only did the bot changers attack the frackles. Oh, the frackles are trying to eat the dam too. We used to live in the caves with the frackles a long time ago. We built buildings day and night. We constructed marvelous towers and architecture the world never seen before. And then the frackles ate all of it. The more we built, the more the frackles ate. We couldn't take it anymore, so we fled. We built this dam, but the frackles followed us and spent every day trying to eat it. If we think about sleeping, the dam will get totally eaten. We can't let that happen, and thus we must remain awake at all times. Thanks for listening to my ridiculously long story. Now you know the struggle of the snoozers. Yeah, you look tired. <laughs>